All right, what we're going to do today is we are going to learn how to solve tree equations on any one of the TI-84 series calculators. All right, first thing you need to do before you start doing this is to make sure that the calculator is in radian mode. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit my mode button. I'm going to get a menu. The third one going down is going to indicate to me whether I'm in radian or degrees. I am in radian, so I am good to go. Let's go back to the home screen. Second mode will get you back to the uh, home screen. All right, now, I... Uh, chosen the equation 2 tangent x plus secant x equals 0 on the closed interval from 0 to 2 pi. This is the equation I want to solve, so I need to enter it in the calculator. I'm going to hit y equals. All right, so as I start to enter the equation, 2 tangent x, I'm going to close that parentheses, plus, all right, now secant, I do not have a secant button on the calculator, so then I've got to remember that secant the reciprocal identity for secant is 1 over cosine. So that's what I'm going to enter there. 1 alpha y equals will get me my fraction button. Selecting 1 there, now I can put in cosine of x on the bottom. Close that parenthesis. So 1 over cosine x is equivalent to that secant x right there. All right, now my equation is in. Now, this is a trig function, so as opposed to just hitting graph and immediately going to look at the graph, I'm going to do a little, I'm going to zoom trig so that hopefully it'll come up in the window just a little bit nicer. So I'm going to zoom, trig is number 7, I'm going to zoom trig. And now as this uh, generates this graph, you can see that I'm on, uh, the y-axis is in the middle, so I'm looking at negative values as well as positive values along that x-axis. I am only concerned about the interval from t uh, 0 to 2 pi. So now I'm going to go in to the window, and I'm going to set that, my x minimum at 0, and then my x max at 2 pi. So 2 pi. All right, now I'm going to go back to the graph. Now I am totally just focusing in the window on what I need. All right, now as you recall, to solve equations, if you graph them, uh, basically your answers are going to be at the x-intercepts, all right, the zeros of the function. So it looks like I have 2 in this interval. All right, you're going to have to find each of them separately. All right, I'm going to do second calc. Since those are the zeros of the equation, I'm going to select 2. All right, and then the calculator is going to go through a series of questions. It wants the left bound. If I'm trying to find this zero right here, I am on the left side, so I can hit Enter. Now it's going to ask for the right bound, so I'm going to have to arrow over to the right-hand side of that zero. Anywhere works. Hit Enter. Now it's asking me to guess. Technically, you could be anywhere you want along that line. I usually do go ahead and arrow back close to that zero and then hit Enter. Okay, so it has given me a decimal, 3.66. All right, great big long decimal. All right, now the calculator is going to remember that for that value of x. I'm going to have to do some manipulating to that because I want my answer in terms of pi. So from this point, I'm going to go back to the home screen. So second quit is going to take me back to the home screen. Now, I want the calculator to remember that x value, So I'm, and I want it my screen right now, so I'm going to hit x, and then I'm going to hit enter. All right, that is that 3.66 decimal number. It remembers that. Okay, now I need to put it in terms of pi. So I'm going to divide by pi and then hit enter. Okay, now I need that as a fraction if I want to make this look like, you know, pi over 3 or 5 pi over 3 or, or whatever I want. I need to turn this into a fraction. All right, I can turn it into a fraction by hitting math and then 1 from that menu and it will take the previous decimal and turn it into a fraction. Now hit enter. All right, so I have 7 over 6. All right, now that answer is in terms of pi. When I write the answer, I will write 7 pi over 6. Okay, so let's go ahead and come down here and enter that as one of my solutions. All right. So put a fraction bar in. 7 pi over 6. Okay, so there's one answer. Okay, now I have another answer. So we're going to need to go back and go back to our graph. Okay, now there is the second one. Now i got to go find the second answer. All right, so again, I'm going to go through that same process of finding that zero. I am going to hit second, calc. All right, I'm trying to find that zero, so I'm going to press two. All right, now it's right here where my cursor is. All right, I need it to the left-hand side of that. And I, it is to the left-hand side, but I want it closer. So I'm going to arrow 
over and it's going to appear as though oh my cursor's gone but it's not right there it is it comes here here it is so if you just trust it it's going to come right there to the left hand side hit enter <clears throat> now it wants to go right bound so I'm going to arrow over just a little bit that should be good enough hit enter now it's asking for the guess I am going to go ahead and go back to that zero kind of close and hit enter alright and so this one is 5.75 all right, now, this is the, the steps that you need to make sure you remember. I need to remember that. I need to get out of the graph. So I'm going to go back to the home screen. Second, quit, takes me to my home screen. Now, I want that value of X, and the calculator does remember it, but I want it in my screen, so I'm going to hit X and then Enter. Okay, there it is, 5.75, and it's the great big long decimal, so you're not rounding anything. All right, now, I need to divide by pi. So divide by pi and hit enter. Okay, so now I'm in terms of pi and I want the fraction for this decimal. So math and then one is fraction and hit enter. Alright, so that's 11 over 6. So then that other answer is going to be 11 pi over 6. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go ahead and answer that. Alright, need a fraction. It's going to be 11 pi over 6. All right, so there we have our two solutions. So x equals 7 pi over 6 and x equals 11 pi over 6 for my two answers for this equation in the closed interval from 0 to 2 pi.